We know that a dynamic equilibrium is one in which the forward process is equal to the rate of the reverse process. So as an example of that here, we have created a saturated salt solution, meaning that we have added sodium chloride to water until it is saturated, meaning no more sodium chloride can be added to form an aqueous solution anymore. So here's our saturated sodium chloride solution. And what we can demonstrate here is once again known as the common iron effect, where we will find that if I add hydrochloric acid, which we know ionizes to form hydrogen ions and chlorine ions, I'm going to increase the concentration of chlorine ions in solution and thereby upset the equilibrium and we would expect to favor the reverse process here which produces more sodium chloride and we see that in the form of a white precipitate we can see that the solution goes cloudy and as we observe this we'll see that that precipitate drops out and drops to the bottom of this reaction Note here that this is a dynamic equilibrium. There's no chemical reaction happening here. This is a physical process where solid sodium chloride is being ionized into sodium ions and chlorine ions. And now the reverse process is where those sodium and chlorine ions are combining again to form a solid white precipitate, which we can see being deposited on the bottom or at the bottom of this test tube.